Oh, can't hear me. Of course you can't hear me. Now you can hear me. Sorry about that. Anyways, so I was going to do the last of the Sanderson sisters tonight, but I don't feel like it. I'll do her tomorrow. I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm, anyways, so I will paint that one tomorrow. Tonight I'm going to do purples and silvers and cells and waves. And it'll be still boys. And it will be still Halloween-y, but, um, yeah, I want to, I've just been inspired to do something clear lately, so that's what we're going to do. Hope y'all enjoy. Okay, boys. I'm trying to find um, Ethel, Cam, so that you guys can have puppy Cam. Boys, you be sweet. Bean, be sweet. Okay. Yes, I'm in jammies. Um, so, Moose, calm down, bud. We're not going anywhere yet. Boys, go lay down. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Jen's here. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Um, I have had a very busy day trying to get everything done and together and ready for every one of the trips that we have coming up. Guess who hasn't packed yet? Uh, this guy. Cause that's my regular MO. All right, doesn't look like they're gonna do anything interesting right now. So, I have had an amazing day, but just been really busy <sighs> getting ready to do things, huh, Beans? Oh, the boys. Um, they say hi. I'm trying not to get anything messy over here because Jeff's actually about to do this piece because he has to get it finished before we leave. Ooh. And we leave like in not many minutes. So this is a clear canvas that you can find on our website. I'm gonna pour just straight on it. If you guys get one, and you have really severe temperature changes, might be best to sand it just a little bit to create some tooth. Get, get all of it off. There we go. So it does look tan right now, but after um, something, after I peel the backing off the other side, it will be fully clear, 100%. So, let's get our art on. Shall we? We shall. Um, I guess I'm gonna make eight ounces, even though I know I'm 100% sure that is too much for this amount of space. Did you guys have tacos today or yesterday? Because you should have, because it's National Taco couple of days. I keep getting conflicting reports of what day is actually taco day. So I'm just going to celebrate it twice because I don't want to miss it. And why not have an excuse to have tacos two days in a row? Right? Am I right? I'm right. Are y'all talking? Can y'all hear me? There we go. Um, still awake, stalking our front door. 
She's on her first date. That's awesome. Does Jana sell those for me now? The rounds? What's up, Mike? Thank you for the thumbs. Thank you for that, JJ. Fish fries. Mmm. This one's a merger. Gin germs. Howdy, 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 everyone. I don't have any sippy sippy. Someone text Jeff and tell me to grab tell me to grab me some wine. It's raining here and I am not looking forward to taking the boys outside. They didn't hear me. Jen, I got you. You were here. Hi, Dan. Um, JJ, don't text the 9996 number because that is now officially the ATD hotline number. Hotline sounds horrible. There's nothing shady happening. Um, but Jeff got a new number. Beans, you okay? Bubba, what'd you get into? You okay? Did you get it? Did you hear your ball? Go get some water. Okay? Go get some water. He's fine. I think he just got a hairball. Um, Y'all rock. Thank you, Don. It is raining. Right, Jen? Bose, are you going to survive? He's just back there with Cujo in a corner. Um, right, Diane? So, so yeah, so if you message the 9996 number that's on all of our everything that will come directly to me or Amanda, if she's here, I'm just gonna hand her that phone and let her deal with, um, fielding calls because it's usually about orders anyways um so that's news uh other than that we do have a couple more classes seats opened in colorado springs i have a lot more than i thought i would have left at this point in phoenix so if you guys know anyone in phoenix that would like to come to a class or does resin things or you just want to share in some resin group online that we're teaching a class. That'd be awesome. Um, he probably just got like 92 text messages. Y'all are so great. He has been up at Makers for, I swear, like a month now. Getting everything more than caught up so that boys so that um, Amanda doesn't run out here while we're gone and so that we have plenty of things to take on our um, cross, halfway cross country adventure. What did you guys do today? Every time, as soon as I set the puppy cam up, they're like, nah, we're good. Anyways. Resting ankles is good. I saw your picture. Right, Jen? I'm actually, okay. Oh, that's the other thing I want to tell you guys. I know I'm the last person on the train about, like, borax crystals. Have y'all ever gotten into that? I know, Jen, you've probably done it a billion times. Also, you vamp. What's up, Clara? Anybody else done the uh, borax crystals deal? It's science, so that's probably why I was late on the uptake, but 
whatever. That's what I figured, Diane. Thank you, Pamela. So I'm gonna make some purple, some other purple, and some white. And then it uh, looks like I'm gonna have a lot left over. So we may be on coaster duty later. But y'all got time, right? I'm not keeping y'all from anything important like life. Sorry about all this chang changling in your ears. Just had to get these stir sticks. Sour cream does them. Awesome. So I just realized that I wanted to make some of the borax crystals. And I have like everything I could grab in jars of borax just strewn about the house while I should have been working, but I was making borax crystals. Whatever. So, first color I'm using, I haven't used yet on the channel, I don't think it is Violet Plum. Looks like this, it's from Just Resin. It is flat. It looks like it might be a little bit translucent, which is super fine because I am working on a clear canvas anyways. Drop some of that in there. Um, uh, I'm going to totally put resin on them. And I also drop some resin into them, like right now, right now, what they're doing right now. I put like some skull mold things in there and did the pipe cleaner thing. And I dropped it like a crystal that was a resin mold. Put that in one of them. I don't know. I put anything you can put up in it, I put in it. That sounds horrible, but you know what I mean. Um, this next color is getting everywhere, but it also is called Purple Topaz. It is by Color Obsession. It's a tint. It is transparent. I'm also going to put into this. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Um... Maybe this one. It's a little more purple. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. But it's a little bit more wine colored in real life. I'm gonna put some blingit purple in there, or blingit violet, because I wanna. All these colors that I'm using are not sparkly and I want some sparkly. Hi, Wandering Art. Hey, Sean. Ooh. Uh, the Bling It Violet is by Resin Art. I think I'm going to add a little bit more to make it extra Bling It Violet y. Hey, Courtney. See, that's why I can't be a scientist, because that right there, that that I just did, is my um, attempt at measuring something. YOLO, as the kids say. Wunderbar. Yeah, it's a little bit more pinky in person, but just slightly. So I used gel food coloring in one a different kind of food coloring in another. And then one of them I used the Color Obsession tint. So I don't know if that's gonna mess up the science, but I'm trying it that way. Cause I do what I want. All right, this last color is Titanium White by Just Resin. It is paste, it is flat, it is opaque. It is amazing for frothy cells which is what I'm going for. So this Violet Plum looks like a dark version of that Purple Topaz. It's very similar. But it's got that a little bit more of like a brownie red hue to it. Once I get this piece going, y'all be able to see it for real, for real. 
Hey, sweet pea. Oh yeah, so um, apparently you have to let them set for at least eight hours. I'm just gonna let them set overnight and I may get overzealous and pop those puppies out in the morning and then if that's the case, I'm gonna just go live early. Now I made silver with this, but I may uh, pivot and do gold instead. Let's We'll see how it goes. I'll leave some resin still in here so that we can make that decision later in the show. Super pumped you're coming down for the game, Mike Reed. I heard not the best things about that standing room only stuff, so we're trying to find an alternate plan. Apparently you have to get there super early to get even an almost good view of a TV. But I know Vamp wants to get in the stadium because she's a super fan and paid for at least one of the bricks that are up there. So yeah, we're gonna make it happen. All right, now that I have sufficiently greased the pan, by the way, I'm still gonna try to talk Jeff into um, making grease the pan a thing, like on a shirt. We missed you too, sweet pea. All right, some heat. I've been trying to do some pre-recorded videos for a while we're traveling in the coming weeks. And I realized halfway through the second one that I filmed today that um, the Yeti mic wasn't on. So I spoke all the way through two videos and you can't hear anything I said. So I'm going to have to type over all of it. So that's exciting. All right. First things first, let's do this violet plum. I think I want to do like a third and like splash it up that way. So I'm not going to do my regular shape. I'm not doing Pepsi this time. Not this time. Maybe later. That color looks so great. And it's a little bit dark on the camera. Let me see what I can do about it. Anything? It's a little bit better. I'm gonna have to leave it at that because I don't like adjusting lightnesses during a feed because y'all didn't come here to watch me do that. Right, Jen? Agreed. So we're leaving on the 6th for Oregon, be back on the 10th, heading out on the 11th for our class on the 12th in Colorado Springs. And then we'll be back on like the 23rd or 24th. We'll be gone for a steamy hot minute. Not even lukewarm, but like a steamy, sticky hot minute. But that's okay. Because we're doing what we love. And we get to meet all of y'all. Torch and tilt time. I like it, I like it, I like it, except for this. So, I'm gonna put a little bit more white here. Let me try that again. There we 
go, just over that lip. All right, I'm gonna let it cool off from that um, intense heat that I just imposed. All fam, love it, love all of the fam. I'm gonna get some coasters, BRB. Are you guys going out partying tonight? Let me live vicariously through you ladies, you party animals. It still grease even the smallest of pans as exhibit A. I think I used too much heat on my torch and tilts. That is quite possible. Um, you don't wanna just barrel down on it and it's always best if you let the resin, if you use stone coat, for example, let it set up for, I don't know, 20 minutes, depending on how much you mix. You don't want it to be super thin because it is the different consistency that really helps you not to over torch your tilt. So you just wanna move fluidly, just like that. And if you have to tap a little bit more on there, that's also fine. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing without um, ruining the piece. I like to tilt mine just barely off the side. Where are you? There you are. And then that way when it pulls back on, it kind of stretches them. Where are you? There you are. I like that fade, stretchy look. Wedding nice, wedding nice. Probably gonna leave that guy just like that. He's got like a mohawk. <gasps> no! Oh well. I get it. I get it. Um, so Mary Jane, the purples are... Violet Plum is the darker one, and then Purple Topaz with the Bling It Violet is the lighter one. All right, now that we've let it set up a little bit, it's gonna tilt a lot slower here, so I'll be able to save that area while I manipulate this side. I can already tell by how it's looking that I'm gonna want more uh, white represented on this side in some areas. So I think I'm gonna add it here and go from there. Meow. Whoop. I'm gonna tilt it and just go all the way down the line. And let these colors stretch out and do what they do best. Now the more heat you apply in the areas, the thinner the resin will be and the cells will be more present in these thinner areas. As you can see in this pocket right here, it's thinner and there are more of those veiny cells, right? And the reason why it's like mushrooming like this is because I only heated it up and I didn't heat up these areas. While I say it's mushrooming, I really like this billow right here. It looks like how when smoke goes up and catches before it keeps going. So I may play with that um, smoky loopy look. This one here 
I'm gonna have to change Retron. But the cells are looking nice. And this is with resin I just mixed up. I like that glow from the deep dark purple to the white right here. Loving it. Purple's my favorite color too, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see it my way. Super pumped that we have decided to call the torsion tilt a thing, BT dub. I think I might add some more of this transparent. Maybe, no, maybe, no, I don't know. I wanna add more of it, but I don't wanna ruin literally any of the edge that I've created. I'm loving every bit of where this is going and I don't want to ruin it, except for this one here. What do y'all think? Oh yeah, the silver. I don't know where I'm gonna put the silver. Geneva. I'm sure I'll find a good place to put it. You could torque it too, Doris. If you wanna torque it, torque it, whatever. You could do a, a torque and tilt. Hi, Carrie. There you go, there you go. I just sent all your clear geodes out today, by the way. So it should be cooled off again enough for us to manipulate it. Well, almost. All right, so let's just move this guy to the side just a bit and do one of these real quick just to give it time to cool off further. These are not clear. These are our standard brown masonite coasters. There's nothing special about them except for they're awesome. Nothing special except for everything. So I'm gonna do kind of the same thing on this that I did on the big one. I'm just gonna put all the color on the end and let it go forth. Oh, thank you, Lisa. So, can you see? Okay. Let's get our torch and tilt going. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of heat at all. You just want to get the conversation started. I love these stretched cells off the end because they're very like ghoulish so they're like perfect for Halloween I'm not sure about this area so I'm just gonna get that white um, torch through it there we go much better Right then, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? See how it's like basically not moving? That's because I'm using stone coat and it is a very low viscosity resin. Right. Jen, I know that, I know that look. So now I'm going to concentrate on this guy and see what I can't make happen or not happen.
I can get down with that. I think we may just torch it all the way off. Don't know yet. Be careful, all you viewers at home, not to breathe in too many of these fumes that are coming off of the torch. Not good for you. But thank you, thank you guys. I'm super digging this piece so far too. I really love that deep purple outline on the piece. Loving it. Okay. So now, yeah, those guys are fine. I'm gonna leave this. Um, maybe I'll torch this one up a little bit. Vamp, my pleasure. Um, it really doesn't matter um, whether you wanna use the torch or heat gun on the clear. It all depends on what effect you're going for. Jen, that's fantastic. So I'm just hitting with a torch a little bit so I can make this look more like smoke. You can use a torch to um, impose directional movement. Whatever side you hit is going to thin out first and push or pull the resin so you can make it look like a flame or smoke. I think this little area needs some help as well so I'm just going to lightly hit the torch where I want it to go and thin that area so it'll be most likely to follow that path. You can see here that bulge of resin moving because I haven't fully thin that area out. So now those cells have stretched. Oop. Purple clocks, I 100% am for. Now, I know I have silver, but I also know they don't wanna mess this up, but I have a 10 inch round that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna call this done because I don't wanna risk anything messing up. I love this piece 100%. I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching it come to life and don't go anywhere because I'm gonna do another one. Damn it. Word. Okay. I need my this to take off the this or just get it started rather. Jen, she has lost her place, hasn't she? Oh, thanks, Vamp. So I'm gonna do something similar, but I'm gonna add the silver in before I start altering it. And we'll see where that takes us. Oh yeah, I guess I could heat up the sticky, but I don't, I don't wanna sticky up the heat gun. Cause then it'll be sticky when Yepri 
gets home because he's going to be up all night working on that portrait. Bleh. All right. Clear. For grease the pan purposes. I'm going to switch one of the gloves so that I can move the... clear around without streaking into my negative space. Ow. <laughs> uh, what kind of stones, MJ? That's so fun, Holly. Thank you for arting with me. Um, I use um, an alcohol rag to get resin off my heat guns and things. You see the wipes? Works like a charm. Um, they say not to use those to get resin off your hands because apparently alcohol opens your pores and helps to get um, something, the resin into your body, bloodstream system, what have you. So just use like a baby wipe or maybe even a makeup wipe. I don't know. I'm really bad about forgetting that it's bad and just doing it anyways. And Gojo. Not too much heat. I'm just getting the liquid going. So in that last piece, I realized that I liked how the purple topaz looked out in front. Then have the violet plum recessed. I'm gonna add this silver, but just a line because it's gonna take over. That's too big of a line. Don't do what I just did. And then, Don, we're here to help. Whatever we can do to help you, we're down to do. It's probably too much white also yellow. So I'm going to put a little bit more purple because purple. Right then. Torch. Tilt. That has gone extra. So I'm just gonna torch all off the side and bring it back. Purple Mountain's Majesty. That's it. I love it. My brain is here to be picked. I don't um, pretend to know everything in the world, but I, I will. I'm definitely share. I'm definitely down to share anything that I happen to know. Grease the pan, grease, grease the pan. That was a fun noise, easy. but that's just not necessary. Yeah. 
Y'all, I swear he might be getting senile. He just talks and talks and talks and talks now. Make it sell. Make it sell. Who are you talking to, Roland? Was it so important? Hi, Janine. I don't blame you. Enjoy the sunshine. Right, where are we? Let's add some um, excitement back here. It's so funny when a torch starts to run out of juice. It's like from 100 to nah, -uh, so quick. Mentioned video about creating a dust-free zone, but I can't find it. Do you or anyone here know where I can find it? Um, I have sticky fingers, so I can't search it for you. But I am sure that one of the mods um, can find it fairly easily. Super fun when it gets into the clear. I'm just helping it along. That one almost looks like dragon scales. Is that an egg? Alright, I'm going to let this uh, rest for a minute, and then I'm going to do something with the side. I have one more coaster left. Maybe enough clear for this coaster as well. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just trying to do this stuff and experiment so that y'all don't have to. Because I like to experiment. I think it's part of the fun about resonating. But I understand that this stuff is expensive. So, why not? It is not Stone Coat White, it is Titanium by just resin. OK, 
Can you do the same thing on wood and get the same effect? You can. Just keep in mind that if you're painting on wood that it has to be properly sealed or you'll get air bubbles that come through the wood and will create really ugly bubbles on the surface that you can't heat with a torch or anything like that. It'll just keep coming back up because if you don't seal your wood properly, it's a little bit porous and air comes through and is no bueno. What is up, Miss James? I'm just gonna do a line. Bam. And then another line. Bam. Bye, Dan. Have an awesome evening. Just touching it, thin it out. Let it stretch down. These are my favorite kind of cells. Those like faint, lightly outlined ones. Those and spider cells for sure. And if you didn't notice over here, probably can't really see them, there are some purple cells because that paint sells by itself. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Fish fry, yay. Okay, so now it's really not moving at all. We're gonna see what we can do with this blank slate over here. Just gonna heat this side. Just kind of coax it, inspire it to move off the edge. Tap it with the heat a little bit. Should bring up some cells, some breaks in the resin, just like that. Oh my goodness, it almost looks like a peacock situation. Like, I'm just gonna have Jeff paint a peacock head right there. Yep. I think that's what's gonna happen. Do y'all see the peacock? Is it just me? Can't be just me. Is it me? Comment below. Loving it. My silver is almost all the way gone, but you can still see it a little bit. Some floating flecks. I'm gonna go make room for Prince the peacock. Okay, come on, Prince the Peacock. Wunderbar. All right, you guys, that ends my time. 
here tonight. If you enjoyed this, please leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave me a thumbs down. Tell me why. Doesn't matter. Opinions are opinions. They're like opinions. Everyone's got one. Um, we will be uh, filming tomorrow. Sunday we will be traveling. Okay, boys. Okay, okay. Um, if you would like to see more of this stuff or take a class from us in person, these are the classes we have coming up next. We will also have one in Enough Boys Vegas. Um, that one's in November. You guys want to come up here and say hi and bye and stuff? Come here. Come here. Oh, good boy. These are my boys, Cujo and Bowie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They wanted to say hi. Can baby kiss? Thank you. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you didn't, um, watch another video. I teach stuff all the time. And it's usually pretty cool stuff. But that's just my opinion. Um, can't remember what else I was going to say. But I'm super excited to have shown you what I got tonight. We will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. We love you all so, so much. Please be kind to one another. Um, you never know what someone may be going through. Be the smile on someone's day. Anyways, see y'all next time. Bye. Y'all have to say it with me because no one's here to say I said bye with me. I'm going to assume you guys are saying I said bye. I know it.